Okay, I'm going to give you a tour of how I have the rig lashed down for trailering up to the point where I'm ready to step the mast. Starting here at the bow, you can see I have the bottom of the mast secured in a cradle that I made just out of a piece of vinyl fencing, vinyl horse fencing. Just got a notch in the top of it to receive the boom and a small notch on each side that fits onto the pulpit rails. Works pretty good. The mast is held down into that saddle with this blue motorcycle strap. I run a full wrap around the mast, that helps hang on to it. Just snugs it down, pulls it backwards slightly. The halyards are tied off and hanged up onto the mast as well. I'm using these ball cords to hold all the halyards up onto the mast, keep them from flying around. Lazy jacks as well. You can see the aft end of the boom is connected up and attached onto a jam cleat. It's held up there by the outhaul snap shackle. Moving aft, more ball cords, all the shrouds, the uppers and the lowers are all pulled forward along the mast, tied up with ball cords. Here over the cabin I've got a piece of 4-inch PVC with a notch in it to receive the mast and just a piece of rubber tubing cemented around the bottom to keep it from sliding around. This supports the mast in the middle while I'm trailering. Just prevents a little bit more noise and banging around and bouncing. It's not necessarily, you know, critical that it be on there, but I like to use it. It keeps things a little bit more stable. More ball cords holding everything together. The forward end of the boom I have just held up by the gooseneck fitting and a piece of cord wrapped around the mast. The center support holds the boom away from the center line and keeps it from swinging during trailering. A couple more ball cords holding up the rigging until we get back to the mast crutch and I have this red ratchet strap attaches to the masthead and to a loop on the crutch to tension the mast against the blue strap on the front. It keeps the mast from moving forward or backward during trailering and also helps to stabilize it. For more information about this project, or to find more practical, affordable, or just plain cool do-it-yourself projects, visit StingySailor.com, the number one Google website for DIY sailboat restoration improvement without throwing your budget overboard.